Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah, and I do pretty much anything and everything, mostly activewear, but try on hauls. I'm like all about what to buy. <laughs> if you're a shopping addict, I recommend not watching this video. Anyway, as you can see, we have a lot of things to go over, so I want to get started as soon as possible. We are doing a Zaful try on haul. This is not sponsored. This will be my honest opinion. I'm not being paid for this at all. I'm not receiving commission off of this at all. However, they did send me these items. I was able to pick these out and they sent me them. Thank you, Zaful, for sending me these. But don't worry, everything will be my honest opinion because I'm always honest. Even if it is sponsored, I'm always honest. But it's not sponsored, so why does it matter? I don't know why I'm going on this rant. But I just want you guys to know that I'm going to be very, very honest at all times, no matter what. We will start with tops and then skirts. And then I got some two-piece outfits. So then we'll go to two-piece outfits, dresses, loungewear, and of course, a bikini. You can't shop at Zafool and not order a bathing suit. I'm pretty sure that is where everyone buys their like quick wear bathing suits. And when I mean quick wear, I mean they probably won't last longer than a year. It's fast fashion clothing, so the quality isn't as impeccable as what you would get for like a $150 bathing suit. This one was 20 bucks. You see what I mean? If you haven't already, go ahead and head over to my Instagram and follow me over there. Also, I just started a real estate page because I got my real estate license. Not that you guys care, not that anybody asked, but <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, you could go ahead and follow that page as well. Both pages, the handles will be in the description box below. If you're wondering why my real estate page has a lot of followers, it's because it used to be a fitness account and then I stopped like posting all my fitness stuff there and just started posting on my main page all my fitness stuff. So I deleted all the content, renamed it and everything. So now it's my real estate page. Anyway, basically, if you'd like to support me, I would love for you to first give this video a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then follow my social medias. I would really, really, really appreciate it more then you know also if you're wondering about my hair <laughs> why i look like a mess today it's just been a long weekend but i want to make sure that i get this content up for you so bada bing bada boom you work with what you got okay and yesterday i was at a conference all day and i didn't want to bring my massive water bottle with me so now i need to drink a lot today because i need to rehydrate my shriveling up organs <sighs> this is my child I love this water bottle. But anyway, I put ice in this last night and it's still freezing cold. And I love that. All right, let's get this party started. So I'm going to throw on a basic pair of like mom jeans, kind of. I did not get my mom jeans from The Fool. I got them at a thrift store. Actually, that's a lie, a garage sale. Okay, this is the first top that I picked up. I call it my Femi top because it has like these little booby details and it's feminine, you know? Anyway, so this was $10.99. I got it in the size medium. It actually has two straps, but I thought it looked cute and like better with only one strap. <laughs> okay, cute, right? I really like it. Uh, I think it is true to size, so you should be good with a medium. This is what it looks like. The back is very plain. The front is very plain, and then it's like this. It is ribbed detailing and in a true khaki color. I'll show you what it looks like with the other arm on. Looks like this. And I think it's just a very quick and easy way to dress up a pair of jeans if you're going to go out to lunch or coffee or something. So yeah, that's top number one. I recommend. I just decided right now that I wanted to practice, um, what is that called? Transitions. I'm going to practice my transitions in this video. So this is the first top and this is going to be the second top. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, anyway. So this top was $9.93 and I got it in a size medium. It is true to size. I do like it. I am wearing a bra, so that's why the girls look really big right now. But if I wasn't wearing one, I think it would also still be decently supportive. I do want to point out the bottom. It's not a raw hem, but it's not like a normal thick seam. I actually really like it. I think that it keeps it looking a little edgy. And this would be perfect to pair with either jeans or dress pants or like an oversized slack fit or even like a blazer just to kind of like fancy up something casual like a jean. I really like this top. Give it a thumbs up for sure. The back, simple, really good. If you're wondering why tags are still on things, it's because this is my first time trying on everything. I like to wait until I'm actually recording to try things on so that way it's like my fully honest opinion of like, Okay, this is the first thought that comes to my mind when I try this on, you know? I recommend this top. I think it's very cute and it actually is very comfortable. It's pretty stretchy too. Obviously, it's not real leather. And the inside material is like this, just like a soft 
stretching material. All right, third shirt, let's do it. This was $13.99 and I got it in a size large because I have wide shoulders. This is what's cute about the shirt is the back. So it's fully open, it just ties here. You can tighten it as much as you want. Like if you want it to be short, you tighten it all the way. And if you want it to be long, you tie it a little looser on the back. So I think it's very versatile. It is really cute. It's just see-through and I do feel like it runs small. If I got this in a medium, I think it would be way too small on my shoulders. I would recommend sizing up in this top and maybe grabbing it in a different color besides white because but I do recommend it. It is super stretchy and that's why I like it because you can really stretch it over your head so that you don't get your makeup all over it. It is not like a must have for me, but it's definitely cute and it's definitely super easy to dress up or down. Next, I actually got this exact top from Shein. I ordered it. It's another like fast fashion brand and I did a try on haul. You can check it out right here in this little link, but I ordered the same top, but it was a lot bigger. So I wanted to grab one that was like cropped kind of. This is a one size. So this is how the one size fits me. It was $13.99. I do believe it's cheaper. The Shein one was a little bit more expensive. The bottom of it is there's nothing holding its shape. It's very stretchy, very, very soft. I wish you could feel it. I'm actually very surprised how soft it is. <laughs> Coronavirus. Coronavirus. So I think with a pair of jeans, it's cute, it's cropped. You can wear a bra with it. I'm not wearing a bra with it currently, but I'd give it a thumbs up. I really like it. It's very comfortable. It's lightweight, so you can wear this right now in the springtime when it's not cold, but it's not hot, you know? I love this outfit I just put on. Just putting it out there. How stinking cute is this outfit? So we've already gone over the top, but the skirt is $19.49. I got it in a large. The material is like this ribbed material, and I really like the thick waistband. I feel like it holds it up and holds you in. And then because it's a ribbed material, it stretches and fits to all of your curves. And I think that it's just super flattering. It is a tad on the short side, but it's not too short to where I wouldn't wear it. I'm digging this outfit a lot, like super neutrals, like all brown. This is what it looks like all around. Ta-da! All right, one more skirt, and it is this silky skirt. I picked it up for business stuff. So this was $12.99 and I got it in a size large. Okay, like I said, I got this in a large. I followed the sizing chart. I feel like with all fast fashion websites, you have to follow the sizing chart or you will get it wrong. <laughs> but this fits perfectly around my waist and I love the ruching here because it actually gives me curves. You see that? Very flattering. And then it has these little strings here so you can tighten it up and make it really short on one side and long on the other like this or you can make them both short for a night out on the town or you can make it longer for a business look but this is what it looks like it's so cute, so flattering. It's very versatile, and we all know how I feel about versatile pieces. So the design, I want you to see the actual design. It's like this peach leopard print. I'm not gonna lie, this next outfit I'm very nervous for. I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like. This is the picture that is on their website. I don't know how well it's gonna look like on a human, but it is $22.49 and I got it in the size large and I'm very curious to see how this fits, so. <laughs> okay, hold on, pause. I don't know if this is supposed to go this way, so it's a V-neck or this way, so it's like a bandeau. I don't know, but I, I kind of dig it to be honest. Okay, so as we can see here, this would be for around the house or girls night or like, I don't know, anything but for going in public. It is a very see-through. You can probably see my underwear clearly. It's trying to like mock the look of an underwear. This is kind of in right now. I don't know why, but it is. But I kind of dig it. Like I said, I did get it in a large, so definitely size up if you're interested in this two-piece. I actually kind of like it. Like, the more I wear it, the more it's going on me. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. So because of this large waistband, it really holds you in and gives you those curves, and I love it. But you definitely can't wear, like, you cannot wear underwear with these because you can clearly see right through them. I dig it. I like it. I'm here for it. Okay, next two-piece outfit is a gray string top and Sophie short bottom. 
This outfit is $24.49 and to be honest, I got this in a large because I wanted the bottoms to be baggier and they are. I think that it fits perfectly here. It is an elastic waistband so it will stretch to fit. And these shorts are super cute and comfy to wear around the house. However, I don't love the top. I just don't love it because the bottom part could be tighter. I know that I did get a large, so maybe if I got a medium, the top would be tighter down here, but then it would be a little too tight here. Like there's not too, too much room for my armpits. It's just kind of a stiff shirt. Maybe if you wear unscrunched and just tied at the bottoms, it would be better. But once you scrunch it up and it's not tight here, it just kind of defeats the purpose of the scrunch, I feel like. I don't know. I think like, yeah, I'm gonna wear it around the house, but I wish that it could be tighter here. Next, we are going to do this brown ribbed dress. I got this in a size large because I didn't want it to be too short and it's still too short. I definitely could have gone true to size with this because it's ribbed. I should have thought about that, that it would stretch out to fit me how it needed to be, but the large is like comfortable, but it's a little big. Like there's a little extra room here in the midsection it is short however so maybe if you're a shorter gal this is for you but for me it's not working out like it's just like a little too short i think order true to size if not size down because like i said there is a lot of stretch and a material to this dress so it will fit your size i am so sad because i think it's so cute i actually do really recommend it because it's a thick stretchy material and it's really nice i would just recommend it in a size in your true size next is going to be this little silky dress so i got this in a large it was only ten dollars and it's not working out <laughs> so the straps are really on the wide part which i like because i feel like that's very classy but the problem is the length this dress is very short if i were to bend over my lady parts would be out as i'm just moving it's getting sh shorter and shorter <laughs> so um if you are short this would be really cute i like it but it's just not for a tall girl it had really good reviews that's why i picked it out there's like these two little slits here the back is open back it's really pretty it kind of even dips down a little bit in the back and the material of it is actually very soft very stretchy but like i said you just have to be short next is this white one for this next dress it is clearly see-through you can clearly see my bra but that's why i'm wearing it so you wouldn't see my nips this one i ordered in a medium and it is 22.49 this scrunch here is actually very flattering it keeps everything held in and it gives you some curves but it's not a true scrunch it's just sewn right there so you can't make it shorter or longer i do like the neckline i think it's very casual like i said it is see-through either maybe for the beach or you have to wear a nude color bra and underwear after the beach you are headed over to a bar or something like a bar right on the beach to just throw this over and it's like kind of see-through so it's kind of like Ooh, look at my butt cheeks but at the same time you're covered since we're on the topic of beach i'm just gonna put the bikini on now instead of at the end okay okay i got this bathing suit for 14.99 actually not 20 and it is in a size large so i really like this because the front is adjustable you can make it smaller or bigger however you want and then the top is also adjustable like this whole string is one string that goes into the back you see and then you can tighten it or loosen it depending on how tight you want your straps here and how tight you want the back i am a c cup and this has full coverage i actually feel like it would be better if i had bigger boobs so if you have bigger boobs this will look really cute on you next i like the bottoms because they are high rise and i wear all of my bathing suits all the way up here the back is a thong bottom you get the situation all right lastly we're going over to these sweatpants this is what i was the most excited for for this entire trial and haul and i've been dying to get my hands on a brown pair of fleece lined which means very very soft fluffy pants these were 26.99 and i got them in an extra large because i did want them to be oversized and it is truly oversized it is perfect I would not have wanted this in any other size, so that is two sizes up from my original size. I would regularly be a medium, but I sized up twice. If you want a baggy look, I would recommend sizing up twice. The length is decent. I am tall. It does go all the way to the floor, or all the way to my ankle. On the back, you know, it's just a basic jogger. You can roll them if you want, because, you know, I sized up twice, so there's plenty of room 
For rolling, something else I like to do is roll the bottom because I feel like it just gives it a baggier look. You see when you roll up the bottom, it just kind of gives it like a baggier look. I do wish that they were longer, but it is what it is. It's not a bad length. They're not short and that's what I care about. This is the last, it's just this t-shirt. It says, it is you, not me, which is really funny because I'm sure you guys have all the heard, all heard the saying, you know, it's, it's not you, it's me. Like, you know, when you break up with people and you feel bad for breaking up with them, you always say like, it's not you, it's me. Like, I need to work on myself. But this says, it's you, not me. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. This one I got in a size large and it was $16.99. I think the color of it, if you can see, it's like a sand color. Love it, love it. Would I pay $16.99? Maybe not. I pay like 10 bucks for this just because the material itself isn't like the highest quality but it is nice and super thin. So if you live in a hot area, this would be really good for you. I live in a hot area, so it's perfect. The size large is exactly how I wanted it to fit, like oversized, but not too oversized. So that brings us to the end of our try on haul. If the lighting was weird, it's because I kept opening and closing my curtains because my next door neighbor's daughter was running in and out of their house and I'm like changing. That's the end of this try on haul. I know it was a long one. I hope you enjoyed it and got some cute ideas for outfits. You know, it's about to be summertime. I'm just saying we all need going out outfits for the summertime, okay? I'm like exhausted from trying on all those clothes. I guess that's all and I will catch you guys next Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you have stuck around this long, hello. If you are looking to buy or sell property in Orlando, I would be more than happy. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. It's happening right now. I would be more than happy to be your real estate agent, your realtor, your real estate professional. So if you're looking to do anything in Central Florida, please feel free to reach out to me. Even if you aren't doing anything in Orlando or Central Florida, if you're looking for anywhere in Florida, I'm in contact with a lot of real estate agents all over Florida. So if you are looking for a property in, let's say West Palm Beach, I can refer you somebody who I personally would know would take great care of you. So that being said, now I'm really leaving. Bye. For more videos, please stick with us. <laughs>